Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for February 11, 12 and 13 for the regions of Papua New Guinea or Indonesia and a potential 6.4 to 6.8 magnitude earthquake. We're now looking at the SDO composite moving imagery and focusing on the southern hemisphere and this large coronal hole formation CH499. Now we did receive a 5.9 magnitude earthquake in the Fiji region earlier today. This was a very deep earthquake and the reason for this video. Now this is an indication that this coronal hole formation is now moving through this position and that would mean we're not too far away from receiving this large earthquake in the Kermatic Islands in my forecast video from yesterday. So it's definitely worth watching and keeping a note of. Now the main reason for this video is that the spawning of this active region which was at 18 degrees, the same latitude as the Fiji earthquake, now these earthquakes will migrate towards the equator, towards Indonesia and Papua New Guinea and that is a concern as we may see another strong earthquake over the next 60 hours in and along those regions. We're now looking at possible locations for this earthquake and the main area of focus would be towards the equator. Now the very deep earthquakes recorded in the Fiji, Tonga and also Kermatic Islands regions tend to head towards the equator. Now the very deep earthquake in Fiji earlier today which was 575 kilometers deep indicate a strong meridian migration moving northwest which should produce a strong kinetic release through the Australian plate into Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Now I am expecting a 6.4 to 6.8 magnitude earthquake to occur in the regions of New Britain region, Papua New Guinea, or adjacent in the region of New Island region, Papua New Guinea, Papua Indonesia, or also further south in the region of Eastern New Guinea, Papua New Guinea. Now looking in the days ahead, we see two strong features in the solar corona, again in the southern hemisphere that have developed over the last 24 hours. The rapid emergence of active region 11416 and also this coronal hole formation CH500 has opened up quite significantly. This may imply a strong earthquake, possibly February 14 or 15 in this location and I'll be adding this to my blog over the next 24 hours. Now for some reason over the last few hours I've been inundated with emails regarding concerns for a significant earthquake potential for the New Zealand region over the next day or two but on close inspection of solar data and telemetry this does not appear to be the case. There may be an earthquake potential for the Auckland Islands on February 13 or 14 and possibly 5.0 to 5.4 in magnitude at the very most. Now it's also worth noting another significant reading on the Australian Pulsation PC3 index was recorded which registered 10 earlier this morning and that's a good indication of a powerful earthquake over 6.5 in magnitude for the southern hemisphere is likely over the next day or two. And that concludes my volcano and earthquake watch for the next 60 hours for the regions of Indonesia or Papua New Guinea. For more information please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.